Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sim Zima, if you're new here. And today we're getting into episode 19 of the Family Dynamics Challenge prequel. This one is called Cole's World. I mean, I really just wanted to get a decent intro in. And here go Mama Parks, Miss Faith Parks. Oops. Running out the house at like midnight. I told y'all she's a little wild. <laughs> I love this lady though. Let me get a picture of her. Just for memory. She's not a main character, but um, she's important to Chase, which is Chase is important to us and Zanaya. Um so yeah, I think it's worth taking a picture of her just to remember her. Um, yeah, so Faith is up early. I'm just going to have her go ahead and just start on some breakfast then. Seems like she's well rested. So I'm going to have grandma work on that because it is Monday morning. Uh, technically now it is Monday morning. It is so dark in this house. It is Monday morning and, um, you know, the kids have to get ready for school. Um, I'm playing with the Parks household this morning if you couldn't tell already i guess we can't make breakfast yet oh okay there's okay neil has a cold some rest in either home remedies or over-the-counter medications can help but it should go away on its own in a few days watch out because it can turn into bronchitis okay and he discovered something underneath his bed and i'm getting the last exception okay so neil if you guys remember in one of the previous episodes i introduced you guys to neil as the baby of the parks household let me see if i can get grandma to spray underneath the bed I introduced you guys to Neil as the baby of the household, and he aged up. I wasn't even here for it, but he aged up. Now he's a child, but, you know, still younger than the other set of twins, Sean and his brother. Um, Let me get Neil to get maybe some orange juice. I don't know what they mean by home remedies. Like, my home remedies is, like, maybe chicken noodle soup. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, maybe a hot toddy or something. I don't know, like my home remedies may not be his home remedies so i don't know what they mean by that but i'm gonna just get him um some orange juice and hopefully that'll help him and a little rest because he still has time to sleep before school in the morning y'all have to forgive me i'm not used to this house so i'm like looking for things <laughs> and trying to talk to y'all at the same time okay so grandma can we cook breakfast now because if I can get you to do something, I can just go ahead and set my expectations for this episode. I'm really excited, as you guys can tell, to be recording this episode. I am... Um... Oh, you know how I can solve this? I'll just get Granny's cookbook. I mean, Faith is a granny, so I'm sure she would have a Granny's cookbook. Let me go ahead and get some breakfast ready for my kids, okay? Let's do some egg and soldiers. Yo, I'm not sure what it is, but... It'll work for us. Okay, so while Faith is cooking, I think Neil is drinking his orange juice on the toilet. Maybe he'll be able to go right back to sleep, hopefully. No, but he can read underneath his covers and he can nap and he can relax. Basically, just stay out of me and Faith's business right now, okay? <laughs> oh, Faith, what is your cooking skill? I ain't even look. Because y'all know I don't play with this house. Okay, she's only on level one. What is she? Where did she go? Where is she going? Where is she going? Oh, you have to cook it outside? Oh, I don't know. See, I, I don't know what this meal is, so I didn't know you had to go outside to get something off the grill to add to the bread to make this meal. But okay, anyways. Oh, but that looks spoiled. Am I tripping? Or did that look spoiled? Okay, I don't know what she's up to, but... What I've been trying to say for the last, I don't know, three minutes that I've been I've been filming is that um in today's episode, oh okay. But that was spoiled or she got off the um anyways, go ahead and grab a serving for yourself. Sit down and eat, enjoy yourself, Granny Faith. In today's episode, guys, we're gonna go ahead. It's Monday, so we're gonna go ahead and take a Devin. Now, if you guys remember in the last episode, I told you guys that Devin was Chase's father, single father of five, one, two, three, four, five kids. He does have help from his mom, Faith Parks. She's like 
really helpful and necessary in this household. Um, but yeah, Devin is a, is a single parent and he hadn't been dating for a really long time, but he was going for a jog the other day and well, past Xavier's house, Xavier saw him and was like, bro, like you haven't been out. You haven't done anything in such a long time. Why don't you consider dating? Actually, I know the perfect person, my, my wife's niece, Ebony. So what are you scared of? How creepy all from a bad dream she had. So, um, Devin took Xavier up on his offer and, you know, talked, spoke to Ebony and it looked like things went really well because he found her really pleasing. So today we're just going to push the envelope a little bit more and take them on a little date. As I'm filming this, I don't, I really don't have a clue like where I want to take them yet. Um, maybe just like a regular dinner type thing, but I thought that was so typical but I'm thinking that's what I might do. Okay, first of all, let me turn on all the lights in this house because just looking at pitch black, just this room, that's fine. This is such a nice house, y'all, such a nice build. They have all this music in the house, lots of music lovers in this house. Actually, Faith wants to mix down a track. She wants to produce a new track. I told y'all, grandma is not your typical grandma, okay? Grandma is full of life, and that's why we love her. So even though she's scared, we're going to have her go over here and release a track. So I guess we got to produce it first, and then we can release it. Okay. All right, I can feel that a little bit. Let's see if we can add something to it. Um, remix track. We're gonna, everything is off. So we're gonna turn on the organ first. You know, she a church lady, so she would turn on a little bit of organ. We might have the church, so let's see. Oh. Um, okay. Okay, I'm not mad at that. All right, so let's see what else. This is so not a part of what I had in mind, but um, let's go ahead and turn on the magic synth melody. I don't like that. Okay. Okay, I do like that. I do like that. Oh, she has to use the restroom. So let's just add the last thing and then we'll get her to go to the restroom. Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay. Um, I think you should burn that. I think that's what you do next. Say everything. We're gonna say, um, we're gonna say up in the morning because she's up early in the morning, okay? It's 528 in the morning, seriously. So we're gonna call it up in the morning. Sorry guys, my husband just called, but yeah. So we're gonna call this one up in the morning because she up early in the morning. And did I ever get to tell you guys, cause I'm so all over the place. Oh, she is paranoid. That's why she's so easily scared and stuff. She's going to the restroom herself. Perfect. The kids are getting up. Everybody's waking up. Look at the cuties. Dad is here on the computer. Dad, do you have work today? You do in four hours. You are an engineer, but you're only on the first level. How do you support this house? He must have got a huge settlement in the divorce. Speaking of divorce, <laughs> speaking of divorce, um, he's going to take a vacation day because he really wants to take Ebony out today. But um, yeah, so as you guys know from previous episodes, I did speak about this when I took Zania and Chase to Del Sol Valley. This family is originally from Del Sol Valley. Um, that's where Devin and his wife Dawn lived. Um, Dawn is a superstar, okay? Um, I think the fame and the glitz maybe got to her head. I don't really know, you know, but she's a little bit out there. And yeah, uh, Devin just didn't want that for his kids, didn't want that kind of lifestyle, didn't want that kind of environment. She was always partying, coming home late, not really involved. 
So, yeah, he just, you know, him and his mom, they moved away to Brindleton Bay, total opposite of where they're from, right? And they're doing the best that they can right now. You guys will actually get to meet Don in the season finale. But um, as of right now, we're not really too worried about her. So I'm just watching everybody get ready. But what I need to be doing is getting Devin together so that he can get ready for his little date in a little bit. I'm going to have him use the bathroom. Don't eat anything, Devin. Oh, yeah, he's serious about working out. So I will let him work out a little bit. Um, go ahead and brush your teeth as well. Faith over here, flirty. She's all over the place. I don't even know what I want Faith to do right now. Did you get to... You burnt the track, but did you get to release it? We need to release that track. Because that might change the game. I ain't going to lie to y'all. So let's see. Um, release track for fame. Now, I don't know if... Oh, it's poor. Oh, snap. It's poor. We're going to do it anyways. Whatever. So I don't know if it's because... Um, if it's because... What is her name? Jeez. Dawn is a superstar. Why Faith is having this ambition to travel. I mean, to follow stardom. But we're going to follow the niche, okay? We're going to follow the, the lead, I mean. Go ahead and use the bathroom, Chase. I didn't think I would have to tell you that. And did anyone grab some of this breakfast that um, Grandma slaved over this morning? Y'all know she's only a level one cook. And she made y'all a darn good breakfast. So can y'all please get to it? goodness look look at Damien. he always in the pool he, oh, always about relaxing always about just chilling oh he was on his way to the pool always about relaxing and chilling what is this one doing can you <laughs> i think it's so cute that all the boys are like in the little tidy whities that's so cute but come on come grab some um some breakfast before you guys go to school man Ain't gonna have DCF showing up, showing up at my door. And here's little Neil who is not feeling well. So you're staying home. Grandma is gonna take care of you. Let me have you call in sick. He can't even get out of bed. Grandma, can you make some soup? I can't believe they called our track um, average, y'all. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's see what we can make him to help him feel better. This is not good. We also need to stop playing and just take him to the doctor. I think that's what we're gonna do first. Like, I don't think, no, no, but grandmas like to make home remedies and stuff, right? Grandmas would be like, oh, come here, baby. Let me make you some soup, right? Let me see what we got. I won't got nothing. She on a level one. We don't got nothing. Oh, I think we have soup in here, right? Let me see. I think we have, do we? do we oh my gosh there's no tomato soup no nothing okay so i need grandma to take the baby to the doctor and while you're there you can probably get a checkup too grandma just make sure everything is you know the, the heart is gonna keep ticking if he eats now that means they can't go out to eat so what y'all think please take Neil to the doctor so what y'all think Okay, so everybody's off to school. See y'all later. Have a great day. I think, um, I just don't know what else they could do. Okay, I think I'm going to have him go ahead and eat because I want him to be in a good mood when he meets her. It's still pretty early in the morning. And then I think I'll have, um, all right, let's go to the appointment now. And then I think he's already taking a sick day, so I'm going to say no. And I think I think I'm gonna have um <laughs> This grandma being flirty right now is kinda throwing me off. Grandma might need a little friend. Do you know anyone? Grandma. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have them eat now because they still have lots of time. And then we can probably go to like a bowling alley or something, or I'll look in the gallery and see if there's anything like a kind of fun spot that they can go chill out at. But I'm gonna have Devin just kind of get his morning started. He's not paying his mama no attention. Devin, where you get these clothes from? He's so handsome. And you make some handsome kids. What you wanna do with, you wanna buy another instrument? No more instruments, Devin, no more. Is Neil going to the doctor? Neil, are you stuck? Neil is stuck, y'all. Okay. 
Let me see if I can teleport him here. And then how can I get him to go to his doctor's appointment? Oh, that don't sound good. Go to doctor's appointment. Neil. Yeah, I don't know if you need Granny to come with you, but she was willing to go with you. Um, No, we don't need sick leave. Just go. Okay, I guess Granny's not going. I thought she would have went. Granny, you got a big appetite. I thought she just ate, y'all, and she's hungry again. Um, I also have her go ahead and just chill out on the pool. I know that she likes to do that. Wait, is it cold? It's 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 a little cold, so maybe 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 that's not a good idea. Maybe the hot tub. Didn't know that you guys had a hot tub, so maybe the hot tub. Who's calling you? We found Damien trying to hack Damien into the school computers today. We are not sure what his plan was, but we stopped him before we had a chance to do anything. She's gonna say serious stuff. Please punish him. Yeah, because grandma, she's a bit of a um, I don't play that. What are y'all grades? I'm just curious. What, how are y'all doing in school? He's a C student, so guess what you doing today, sweetheart? You gonna be actively participating. Um, what, who's calling? Goodness, all the kids being bad today. Chase tried to skip out on a class today to comfort a crying friend. I mean, what should we tell him? Don't skip class, education is vital. Helping friends come first. I mean. All right. Damien learns his, I mean, not Damien. Devin learns his parenting skills from his mom. His mom is very strict. She was very serious about success. We're going to say that this family originates from like Nigeria or something. Okay. Like that's where their great grandfathers, you know what I'm saying? Like are from. So we're going to say that he would say, don't skip class. Education is vital. Okay. Even though we know that Chase needs to work on his conflict resolution, so I hope I help that out. But yeah, he's actively going to participate. Chase, what's your grades? You're a B student. So we can do like half and half. Oh, I forgot to mention that to y'all. And we made $17 off. Jeez. And we made $17 off of up in the morning. Now this says, <laughs> Neil has been diagnosed with a viral disease. Sims can treat this disease with home remedies such as herbal green or lemon ginger tea, orange juice, plenty of rest, as well with over-the-counter medications to keep him comfortable. Viral disease usually go away on their own. Okay, so... Okay, we're going to treat it at home. And I'm going to have Grandma make some tea. Another standardized test. Devin is almost done when he realized he skipped the bubble Devin Devin is the dad anyways maybe Damien he skipped the bubble near the top all his answers are one off he starts to tell the teacher but realize he'll have to take it again it's really only for the state it doesn't affect his grade I think that because he knows how his parents are he'll confess the mistake oh Devin I do have a son named Devin okay so your name is Devon and your son's name is Devin y'all remember that okay he did get a performance gain from it. We'll start looking at scholarships soon. There is a lot going on. I can't even get like a sentence out. Let's get um the tea maker so that we can give the baby some tea. Neil some tea when he gets home. I also need to do like a little makeover for Neil. He looks a little wild. <laughs> we'll do that. Um, I'll probably do it off camera, not gonna lie. Oh, this is cute. Sometimes I surprise my own self with the things I have in my game, y'all, because I did not know I had that. So let's get um, Grandma Faith to make some drinks. Okay, let's brew him some. They said we could do healthy green. They said lemon ginger. I guess because her skill is not high, she can't do a lot. So we'll do healthy green. We'll get her to brew some of that for him. And then when he gets home, I'll also have him get himself some orange juice. Just to kind of start the process, you are not doing well at all, sir. Um, so yeah, grab some orange juice. Don't remember what I was saying before everything went crazy like that. But, um, oh, I think I was doing the kids' schools, right? So he is attending class normally. We're going to have you actively participate right now, and then we'll change it to make friends. Um, Sean, what are your grades? He's a C student, so you need to actively participate um Devin 
is a C student. So please actively participate. And that's everyone because Neil is home with us. Grandma's making the tea for us. And he's here, I think, playing some music or something. So, um, yeah, so we got the kids all set for school. I think it's a good time to go on this date. I do want um, Neil to go for a little jog because I don't want him to get out of routine. He's very serious about his fitness, let's say. So I'm gonna go on a little jog, but we're gonna go on this date with Ebony. I'm really excited about it um, because I think that maybe they'll be a good fit. Uh, adding Ebony to this household and also adding um, Jace, because as you guys know, Jace is Ebony's uh, son, is gonna be interesting, interesting, but I think it'll be cool. It'll still be all boys. <laughs> It'll still be all boys, but at least grandma will have a, a, a daughter-in-law to kind of comfort and be cool with. Why isn't Devon, now we know his name is Devon and not Devin. Why isn't he going for the job? Let's reset him. All right, can you go jogging really quick? And this man, he wants to buy more, um, more instruments like he don't have enough. Okay, so where's the tea, Grandma Faith? Did you make it? Is it cold in here? Why don't you turn on the AC? Okay, Neil, can you have some of this as well? And then you can go sleep. Okay, no, okay, wait. Grandma, come call him to drink it. Call to grab drink. Oh, he can't drink it? All right, so he's just gonna go to sleep then. I hope you feel better, Neil. Oh, man. Which one is your bed? I don't even remember. I think it's this one. All right, get some rest. But yeah, so we're gonna take Devin on his little jog. I told you guys about the divorce. There was one more thing I needed to tell you, um, the divorce with um, Dawn, his ex-wife, you know, the superstar who left the kids. I hope I didn't tell y'all that. <laughs> um, but uh, one more thing I wanted to tell you guys before we go on this date. We're having a Halloween party tomorrow. Tomorrow is Halloween according to the calendar in my game. So we're going to have a little teen party it's gonna be at Jamie's house because y'all know that's where the parties are kept, okay? We keeps the parties at Jamie's house because we know we can get away with just about anything. Um, uh, The teens are really close to being young adults, so last time they didn't go that wild, but I think this time we may be a little surprised. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm gonna, oh, he has to take a shower before he goes. I'm gonna get Devon ready for his date and then I'll meet you guys there, wherever we decide to go. I'm not sure yet, but I'll see y'all there. So we are here in San Maishuno at Rooftop Gardens and everybody looking a little bit crazy, but they look good. They look good. They look appropriate for what, you know, what it is. Uh, I do want to get a little picture because they're also kind of cute to me. I don't know what Devon looking at, but um, yeah, so this is Ebony. You guys have met her a couple times if you've been following the series and we're here. Um, It's, I don't know, it's nice. Let me show you guys the place a little bit so we can experience this. Oh, I think I've been here once before. I was gonna say I've never been to this restaurant, but I think this is actually where, I think this is actually where Kamaya and Xavier got engaged, if I'm not mistaken. I think they got engaged right up out here, right up out here, okay? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but I think they did get engaged out here though. Um, Let me get like a little picture. Oh, that drop, I, you never get used to it, yo. But I wanted a little picture of the scenery. Yeah, but anyways, so we're going to go ahead and have Devon request a table. He did work up a little appetite. And he needs to be social, which is like perfect combo. Definitely, Devin. We're going to get you right. Let's go ahead and request this table. And y'all pray for my boy. We're hoping that this date is a success. And that it goes well. Because, you know, you know, you know. It'll be nice if it worked out. Um, okay, so let's see. Make sure he takes us to the seat we, request, we requested. All right, you lead the way, huh? All right. My boy got the chest out today. Come on. He's like, I ain't been on a date in a minute, but I already know. And I think this is the seat that they sat at. This is the lucky seats, guys. This means that you cannot fail, okay? I'm gonna have him sit down and come talk to old girl. Just ask her about her day. Let's start there. Um, we have to socialize with her five times. That's gonna be easy. 
let's um not let's let's not hug her yet because she ain't tell us she wanted to be tugged. Um, but maybe we can share photos. I don't know why I can't speak to her much. She blowing kisses though. I'm worried about hugging her and she's blowing kisses. He's gonna share a photo. They're gonna build some um, romance really quick. I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. Okay, so you can ask her about her career now. Okay. Looks like it's like she's opening up a little bit more. We can tell a funny story. She blew a kiss. Oh, she's um amateur and entertainer at Limelight. Let her know that you're an engineer. You're up and coming, okay? Engineer. Let's see if we can do something a little flirtatious. We're gonna compliment her appearance. Um, oh, we need to ask her if she's single. We can do that. Let's ask if she is single. Maybe not. Guys, it's going great so far. It seems like they're attracted to one another. Dare I say, again, we have a perfect match in heaven. Dare I say it? Um, Let's, I don't know, let's chat about celebrities. Um, Let me go ahead and order for their table as well. We still need to ask if single, and he's supposed to be sitting, so yeah, have a seat. Okay, so we're going to get her the Metropolitan because it's the chef's choice. And we'll get him um, a salty dog. It just seems like a very strong drink by the name, so I'm hoping that it is. We'll get her the Volcano Pasta, Ebony. And we'll get him the Sizzle Brisket over so Sour Clover Salad. 82 Samoans. Okay, he got that. Just throw it in the bag. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can ask if she's single. Oh, we definitely want to know like what her taste in music is because um, we're pretty big music heads over here, Ebony. Um, let's see. Ask about taste in music. Now, y'all know that we've been having like some really funky times with uh, dine out, so. Hopefully it works, and hopefully we get our food. <laughs> if not, I'm gonna have to go on a hunt and figure out what's stopping my game because I never really had that problem before. We're gonna discuss our favorite band, and we're also going to. We're also going. He's like, oh yeah, she likes the kind of music I love. Oh yes, <laughs> they're cute. They're cute, and the fact that they're hitting it off by themselves mostly, like without me having to try too hard, I like that. So we're gonna discuss interest, and then I'm gonna try to ask if she's single. I've been trying to do that for a little minute. Let's tell her a little joke, a little jokey joke. Y'all got inside jokes already? Okay, I ain't mad at it. I ain't no hater. Y'all got inside jokes already though? That's crazy. Okay, we need to flirt with her five times. That's gonna be easy for him because oh, y'all don't know enough. Y'all don't know each other enough to take romantic selfies, huh? Let me go ahead and get y'all take some regular selfies then. Take a photo with Ebony Kemp. Let's see how this goes. Are you guys cute on paper? Like, do you guys look good together? Because the chemistry seems to be there. Like they seem to get along. I want to really just kind of let the date go in a second and let them kind of connect for themselves. Oh, that's cute. Let me go ahead and brighten it just a little bit. There we go. Nice. If I can get the people out my picture. Cute. Cute. Y'all, they're cute together. I don't know why I didn't put them together to begin with. They're very cute, but... I'm going to let them go ahead and sit down together. And then I'm going to, like, um, initiate some of the flirting. But I'm hoping that they'll take it away mostly. And we'll get to just kind of sit back and enjoy this day. So what kind of story would you like to tell her? I don't know what's wrong with him. Tell a funny story. Let's check down here. Oh, is he an introvert? 
And I think that's our food. Yeah, he's an introvert, so being out. Boy, you said you wanted to go on dates. You better get over it. Oh! What? So we finally get our food and he drops it. Oh my god. I should give up the table. I should. The heck is that? The heck is that? Dropping my food. Okay, we gotta flirt five times. We don't even have one yet, so oh embrace. Let's embrace her. Um, what else can we do? We're not gonna discuss having a baby, but we will confess attraction. Like, oh, I hope I hope that doesn't throw it off. We're gonna be like, you know, girl, I like you, you like me. You know I'm saying, let's get together and blend our family. It looks like it went well. It looks like she took it, so we'll definitely exchange um numbers. Let me go ahead and do that. I can't believe the people dropped our food, y'all. We need to also have a deep conversation with her because we need to get to know her more, you know what I'm saying? Like on a deeper level, you know what I'm saying? They're finally getting some um, romance, so that's cool. And now he's going into like, we, we, we satisfied his social, but we ain't satisfied his hunger yet. Can you come back with our food? What you talking about? Deep conversation? All right, let's see if they're capable of taking it on. He's hungry. Don't get... Wait a minute. You mean to tell me I did everything and they're not going to give it to me until I kiss this lady? Is it a kiss you want to see? Let me blow a kiss first and make sure she's open to it. Is it a kiss you... You should have just said, I want to see a kiss. <laughs> they did say it. I mean, it is on the top. But I ain't know that... Like, I thought that we would get... Oh, we should kiss her hands. Yeah, we know how to trick the system. We know how to beat the system. We'll kiss her hands and then y'all gonna give us the credit and we'll have a gold date. Thank you very much. Trying to ruin my reputation out here. Oh, calm down. I speak to him like I don't understand. I completely understand. A little introverted myself. <laughs> Wait, just go ahead and kiss her hand, please. Please kiss her hand. Kiss hands, please. Ooh, offer her a rose too. Why not? That's sweet. Like, give it to her and say, my lady. You know when you give it to her? <laughs> it's very Renaissance manish. She's like, thank you. She liked it. Wait, but why Why you ain't kiss her hands though? You gonna make us get bad on this day because you don't want to kiss her hands? What she think? She gonna tell you no, hold hands, and then let's kiss them. We're going to hold them in our hands, and then we're going to put them to our mouth. Let's go. Um, please. Please kiss them now. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, we're just going to leave this date on a silver. Because Devon, as we're realizing, oh, I got poor quality food, too. Y'all, the date was good, but the food is bad. That's not good. How are the drinks? Yeah. The drinks are normal. She likes the drinks. Wait till you taste that food, though, Ebony. You're not going to like that very much. You're not going to like the food very much. Let me see if I can. I just want, I just want, oh, my God. Maybe I have to go in for a real kiss. But I, don't, I mean, what if I go in for a real kiss and she doesn't want to kiss? Okay, so that, that you'll do. Oh, snap. First date, first kiss. Okay. Listen. It looks like Simda dating app know what they talking about after all. They was like, nah, not kiss her hands, kiss her. What? That's wild. Anyways, y'all, I'm gonna let them enjoy themselves and I will see y'all tomorrow. Okay, I will see y'all on Tuesday. This part is too long and we still got a party to throw. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Y'all will not believe I have been at this party for like a good 10 minutes, just talking my butt off, enjoying myself, having fun. And y'all couldn't hear a thing because I wasn't recording the whole time. I'm recording now though, so we'll just continue. The party started at like 7 and it's now 10.30, so you guys might not get a lot of it. But we'll just see what we can do. So we're here at the party, at the Spooky Day party. Um, I was telling you guys that they have a lot to celebrate the teenagers because they're 
graduating um, high school really soon. Actually, like within the next week, they'll be graduating high school. But it's also Halloween, so they just want to have a good time. Um, Zanaya did come through and make some cupcakes. Xander brought the uh, the barbecue ribs. He made some ribs from home and brought it here. And Zanaya also got to make a really nice happily ever after cake. I hope you guys can see that. It's kind of dark out here. But I was really excited about that. I thought that was awesome. So they're out here being bad. <laughs> they're out here being bad, y'all. They're out here drinking and just kind of having a good time. Everything they do is breaking curfew, but they're like, they're like, some of them are 18, you know what I'm saying? Like, some of them are turning, are 17, turning 18, so the legal age to drink is 21, but you know how it was when y'all were teenagers, how I was when I was a teenager. You couldn't tell me that this was bad for me, that I shouldn't be doing this, like, as far as I was concerned, <laughs> I could do what I want. <laughs> Anyways, we're just out here partying, um... I'm having the teens do a lot of things that maybe they shouldn't do, like trying dirt weed. <laughs> but they're all just having a good time. Let me see if I can get Chase and Zanaya to chat it up a little bit. Zanaya came as Princess Leia. Oh, I also mentioned in all that time that I was talking, <laughs> y'all ain't hear nothing. <laughs> I also mentioned that um. I let the Sims kind of just pick their own outfit, so everybody kind of came as what they wanted to come at, and I thought it was hilarious that Michaela came dressed as a cheerleader, because I feel like that's fitting. Ahmed coming dressed as like this uh, zombie teenager kind of guy, I feel like that fits him too. <laughs> um, Xander coming in dressed as a centurion definitely fits him. I don't know so much about Chase being dressed as... Um, uh, astronaut, I don't know how that fits, but I just thought it was kind of funny and cute that um they all kind of came dressing similar to what they what their personalities are like marley i don't know why she came in this little get up but it's cute she came just i don't even know what this is y'all gonna have to tell me in the comments i don't even know what this is called <laughs> oh so xander does not like s pop okay he can dislike it yes maybe we can change it then if you're not feeling s pop let's see if we can change it I know what you do like. I know you like hip-hop. The party is almost over, so you guys are not going to get to see us enjoying ourselves a lot. That really sucks. <laughs> oh, it looks like Chase is feeling a little juiced up. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. What about you? How are you feeling? She's drunk, too, so the teenagers are definitely lit. Um, but that's okay. I was also saying that, you know, the fact that Zaniya thought it was so fitting to, like, bring, um, food to the party. And so did Xander. It just goes to show you that, like, they come from a big family of cooking. Like, because, look, excellent, excellent. And I think that big cake came out normal. But, like, that's no small feat. Like, I feel like they killed that. And that's really good for them. Everyone has to use the restroom. Y'all see I just cheated up Zaniya's bladder a lot, a little bit because... Not on my watch, darling. Okay, so Chase is over here enjoying himself, partying, boogieing down. But I'm going to see if I can have Chase come over here and just kind of talk to his girl a little bit. So we're going to start with a bowl pickup line. I know the party's getting ready. The party is done. So everybody's getting ready to go home. But he definitely just wanted to ask her a question, see if she was still available. I'm going to get her to dance with her boo a little bit. Xavier's still out here. He's like, I ain't leaving yet. I'm here with you. You here, I'm here, sis. Spooky day was awful. Whatever. But okay, we're going to get them to dance a little bit. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> they so cute and drunk. Oh. Oh. Zanaya says she don't care. Zanaya said, I don't care who sees me grinding on my boo. All right, she gonna turn around and tell she he gonna he gonna he gonna turn around and tell her you know you make me happy. Oh, I can't take it. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. But can we do this? Can we do this? Well, Okay, I'm gonna send Xander home because at this point you really shouldn't be here anymore. Um, I'm trying to get these two. Oh, why was she in? Oh, what? What is happening? <sighs> 
Wait a minute, wait a minute. Xander, why is Michaela and you just getting out of bed together? I don't know what just happened, but I'm gonna pretend like I ain't see that. Michaela, yeah, go home, Michaela. Oh, getting a little bit of a last exception there. Um, but I'm trying to get Zania and Chase together as a couple. So let me see if I can ask. So this is the thing, right? Chase's plan was to ask Zania to be his girlfriend tonight at the party, right? He won't do it. Now all of a sudden he's shaking it out and he won't do it, right? But look what they will do, y'all. Look what they on they will they way to do. I hope y'all use um plastic, you know what I'm saying? Uh latex. Because that's un that's unacceptable. Hopefully after this whole rendezvous, we'll be able to get them to just make it official. That's all I'm trying to do. All I'm trying to do is get them to oh, what what's what's happening? Why is somebody running through our house? I mean not our house, Jamie's house. Jamie here smoking. What is Okay. Okay. Well, I don't gotta ask Zania how that went. Now, let me see. First of all, can you go home, Michaela? Cause you don't need to be here. It look like it's getting kind of crazy. Go home. <laughs> because I don't wanna hear nothing about it. Don't tell me about it. I don't wanna hear about it. I can't send her home? Okay. I wish I could though. So y'all, are willing to do that and I hope y'all use protection y'all better not play around with me because I know Zanaya has that with her on that note y'all I think I'm gonna wrap up today's episode it was a chaotic one um a lot of things didn't go as smoothly as I thought it would but you guys get the main drift right we're ready to make Zanaya and Chase a couple and hopefully in the next episode we'll get to see them make it official maybe it wasn't the right time and I'm not mad at that um but yeah, man, I think that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed today's episode like I did, even with all of its chaos, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Also, leave a sweet comment down below so we can talk about today's episode or even just talk about the channel in general. Where do you see these things going? Where do you see these storylines heading? Um, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are not already um, and turn on your post notifications so you will know every time I post another video. Uh, next video is the season finale. You guys can expect it to be a long one. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, y'all take it easy out there. Peace.